So I just lost the entire introduction. But Ray, tell us about the CS menu for Commodore Server. Go. All right. I just wanted to, you know, everybody has Commodore Server. You load V1541 off a disk. I figured it'd be nice to have like a little graphic menu uh, to do some of the basic stuff for Sorry. Commodore Server. Pardon? Uh, just I a menu menu for V1541. All right, so when you load the program, it'll just ask what speed your modem's running at. Let me just install the disk here. Should have V1541 version 2.4 loaded. Where do you want to load it? And then you're presented with the uh, menu screen. So there's just some simple stuff on here uh, from the default disk that you can load. Uh, some status if your comet's connected uh, and connected to the internet, you'll get a green dot here. Right now, we're not connected as a user, so we don't see uh, online as green. So we'll log in. Okay, now you can uh, view your disks. You can add disks to a drive manager. Uh, first, we'll view our disks. Just a simple list of your disks that are available to your account on Commodore Server. And the feature that I added was, uh, it's called Drive Manager. You can add different disks on different drive numbers. Uh, I have zero to seven. We'll just add one. And what number we want to select it to, we'll just pick three this time. So later on, if you wanted to do anything else, you have those drives listed under those drive numbers. Okay. Some of the other items here, you have you can connect to Group Zork. You can do comment chat. If you have a flyer connected, you can do flyer chat. Uh, view your disk we did, drive managers. Uh, we can also send direct <coughs> CS commands. Let me just do a... Any of the valid commands will work. Oops. So that's my name, WizardNJ, username. Okay. Then a feature we added is on the public root of Commodore Server is a CS news file. So Greg will probably update that with online news, and then we could just press number eight here to read the current news. Return. Okay. And we have the about and exit. And then for now, we're gonna try and play an online game. So we're just going to launch the game right from this menu. So it's just a little bit, it's just a fancy menu to get you started on some of the stuff that you don't have to know the commands for. Group it all together for you. Let's wait for this to load. Taking a little bit. Mine's, I have it set for 2400 baud, so. Okay, here we go. So, this is uh, Greg's game, head on. And Pina's going to join me on the other side of the room on a different Commodore. Or Goob, Greg, sorry. It's like it's like a it's like a light cycle, yeah. Who chickens first? Yeah, right. Oh, 
Don't run over your tail. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Oh. Whoops. That's me. Hard to do it with a microphone in your hand. Yeah. <laughs> you have the glove. Oh there you go. That will work. Great program for this account always makes. <laughs> yeah, I think he knows the cheat the cheat codes. People have accused me of that. <laughs> Lag. I was hoping for some lag there. So that was that's pretty much it. Uh, I'll release it in a little bit. I just want to clean it up a little bit, but feel free to use it. it just makes it your life a little bit easier. It'll be on the uh, you can just add it to your V fifteen forty one disk and just run it and launch it. That's it. Thanks everybody. Cool.